Hey guys, this is Keith from Divorce the Horse, and today we're going to start work on converting the cargo van that I bought from my friend Darren into a rolling living room. So this is going to be an upgrade in space for me, and I'm going to appreciate it because in my minivan I have to sit on the floor to change my clothes, and it's not hard uh, to imagine that it's difficult to get your pants on and pants off uh, inside a minivan. Um, especially in the cold mornings. This one will allow me to actually stand up. I'll be hunched over a little bit, but it'll make all the difference in the world for space. So uh, let's start the journey and uh, welcome to part one of the cargo van conversion. Okay guys, so let's see what we've done so far. We're going to take a look inside and see where we're going. The first step, uh, this had been hosed down at the car wash earlier, uh, but the next step was to remove this uh, rubber matting, this stuff here, uh, and sweep the floor clean because we're going to lay in some plywood to uh, even out the floor here. And as you can see over here, I've already started the second part of the process. That's taking the roll-up insulation and stuffing it in all the cavities. Stuffing it in the door holes. Although I thought some of this might be actually making a good shelf area. You could put a cabinet with a door on there if you lived in warmer climate. So as you can see, we put the foam in first and then the uh, wood flooring. And what we did was we traced the uh, floor mat that was in here. We just took it out and used it as a pattern. And it was so much easier than trying to figure out how to fit all this stuff in just right. Uh, thanks for Darren on that thought there. Um, then we took the Reflectix and we did the wall panels here in where the windows are. And stuffed insulation and foam inside the cracks. And also over here, as you can see on the doors. <laughs> Now, when you guys are using your uh, spray-on adhesive to uh, fix your Reflectix to the walls and the ceilings of your van, uh, I found a product that's really good. You guys got to use this stuff. Ms. Menards handles it. There's probably going to be some other stores that handle it. And this is what it is. There you go, guys. It's called Loctite Spray Adhesive. And this is what it did for us. One quick spray. It stuck. There was no holding this stuff to the ceiling at all or the walls it was just spray stick it on it was there excellent product you got to buy this stuff guys this works really good for insulating your van so now we're on to the next step we're gonna have the uh, furring strips here on the wall and what that's for is to attach the paneling to and anything else um, learned an important tip about these vans and the tip is this if you're going to buy a van and do this and insulate it, you need to make sure that it's a Ford van. And the reason for that is, is Ford puts in extra metal uh, where the ribbing is, which allows you to anchor your furrings and your plywood and your paneling too. Whereas other vans, it's just one thin wall. And when you put those screws in, they pop out the other side. Not good. As an example, you can see how the wall is raised there where the furrings are attached. And uh, that's that's what I'm talking about there, boys and girls. It's important to have that. Or, you know, if it's another van, make sure the ribs stick way out so that uh, you don't put your screws through. And you can get a big enough screw into that wall to get through your wood and anchor it firmly on the inside of the wall. So this is what it looks like now that we're this far along. We got the furring up on the sides uh, for the paneling to connect to. Um... The Reflectix is in, the insulation's in the walls, and we're ready to hang our panels. So what I've done here is I put down two rows of these uh, laminate uh, squares uh, that you can buy for your kitchen at uh, Menards. They, you can buy them in singles like this with the paper all around them on the back side there, see? Or they come in a box. Fortunately for me, my friend Darren happened to have a box. And uh, tan carpeting is going to go on the other side of this. Now let's go around to the back side and get that ready. So here we are at the back side of the van, and you see where I sprayed the insulation of foam there. I need to trim that flush with the board so that my tiles can fit in there. And same thing on the back corner here by the paneling. Uh, we'll put more paneling up and cover up those other, you know, bare metal places uh, when we get closer to the end. But there's the first panel is in. And that's what the interior of the van is going to look like when we're done. So now, as you can see, I cut the foam here. Uh, so the wall cover up, and I just took the top edge off and cut along the top of the seam so the 
insulation on the inside of the seam could stay in there, uh, but the wall cover up the rest. And here's the final product, guys. Just that one strip, uh, two rows of paneling, or uh, floor tiles, excuse me. And the reason why I'm putting that in there is so when I get in and out of the van with uh, met, wet, muddy feet, uh, I won't get my carpet schmutzed up because I'm going to put, you guessed it, a light tan shade carpet on the rest of the floor in here. Um, just feels good under the feet. It'll act as another layer of insulation between the underbelly and my cabin area. And the whole point of this is to make it feel as homely as possible. Oh, so what did you guys think? Uh, that's the first part of the video on the cargo van conversion. Later on, we're going to get these stickers off the window, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the door without scratching the paint and all that other neat stuff. Uh, so thanks for watching Divorce the Horse. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, tune in for part two. Till next time, love you guys. Take care.